guys, Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of Terraria 1.3 with TXW. This is episode 22, I believe. The, uh, the, uh, this guy in the arms dealer is selling a nurse's outfit again. And that means it is that time of year. Halloween. Halloween. What a wonderful time to be alive. Oh, I do love you, Halloween. Um, so, obviously, a couple changes. Apparel wise, I took off the unicorn costume and replaced it with some reflective gold dye on the molten armor. And also, what we're going to be doing this episode when we get there, I'll show you. But what we're going to be doing this episode is we are going to be fighting Skeletron. We'll, we are going to try it out, see if we can see how we fare against him. But yeah, that's, that's currently the plan. And so I've reforged a bunch of items. That's why I had all of my money in my inventory. Reforged my, um, I should favorite those. I forged my demon scythe and my mini shark to be better. Uh, my shield of Cthulhu to be warding, uh, as well as the royal gel. Um, I, that, these are already quick. I reforged the lucky horseshoe to be guarding. And I should have reforged the hard cloud in a bottle, but oh well. So now we have a total of 36 defense. Oh, also, we have a goodie bag. Sweet Reaper outfit. I'll put that back when we get there. Um, so what we're going to be doing, I've gotten all the potions that I could find. And I've set up a big, giant arena right over here, right at the dungeon. It'll just take a second to get there. and That's a strange plant. That is a strange plant. Um, and so... When we get there, we will continue. Uh, I'll, we will hopefully make it before nightfall, and we will just have to wait to start the fight. Hopefully, that's the plan. Um, while I haven't talked over this, we have an armored compass that gives us plus three defense. Uh, I think that's been equipped. No, it hasn't actually. So um, I'll equip these intrepid radar, hard stopwatch. I'm actually going to equip the hard compass then. Or armored compass because that gives us more defense than the uh, than the uh, lucky horseshoe, and we shouldn't be needing that uh, once we get there. So we will change that out, and then savage fire great sword still no no difference. Eleven percent increase in damage, ten percent increase in size, ten percent increase in knockback. Um, Get, get off my trail, seriously, 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 get, get, get off my trail, go, go away, I can't wait to get the, um, I think it's from, no, it's from all flesh, he gives you the, man, I'm missing every shot, there we go, he gives you the accessory that allows permanent increase of accessory slots, which is gonna be great, that was some, that was one of my biggest wishes in 1.2, if you guys remember from that series, I just wanted a, something to give us more accessory slots because five is not a lot um but yeah anyways we also have the hard man regeneration ban that's only one defense oh here we are this is the logger cabin i built this a while ago never actually got showed off in an episode but here it is apparently the angler is living here i need to put him in one of my apartments in the vault because for whatever reason he didn't move in or something so, yeah. Anyways, um, we're almost there. I remember just past this desert is the dungeon. You guys will see what I have done down there. It is. It is grand in scale and sweet in scope. It is quite awesome. But yeah, we are quite fast now because we have the quick frost bark roots, um, which gives us a ton of. It gives us a total of an 11% increase in um, movement speed. He anyways, here we go. Here's the arena. Nurse is here. I only have one heart lantern, but it does cover most of this area. Except for the outer edges. So, yeah, this is the arena. Hopefully this should be big enough. I've got good enough gear that it should be. We can use our shield Cthulhu to get speed boosts and stuff when we cut. That's one of my main reasons for equipping the accessories, because of the uh, mobility advantage and stuff. But yeah, now we should start just making our final preparations for the fight. 
I'll get everything ready. Spawn point has been set. Let's just remove everything from down here that we won't need, and then I will get back to you guys about that or something. Uh, let's actually put these in the order that we plan on using them. I don't know where, where I'll use the yo-yo. Probably, probably right there. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Um. Sweet. We've got ourselves our potions. And we don't want it. We are going to be using regular healing potions because it's better. Hello, old man. You're not supposed to be here yet, but it'll be easier for us to just seal you in now. So we will do just that. Uh, we need to equip the armored compass. There we go. And now it's just a few minutes away from dark. So I will get back to you guys then. Okay, it is starting to get dark, meaning that the time of Skeletron is nearly upon us. So now we just have to wait a couple more seconds, or a minute or so, until night fully sets. Then we can curse this old man and free the dungeon from his terrorist grasps, I suppose. Our strategy for this one is to take out the hands before we take out the skull because the hands are gonna have a bad attack and the skull will shoot homing skulls out of it so yeah we're gonna try that I'm gonna try out using the uh, demon scythe I need to get used to this scrolling thing cuz I think that's gonna mess me up but we'll, we'll see alright let's let's do this let's do this any second now come on come on bird Aw, oh, missed it missed it I'm gonna close out the map for maximum visibility. Then we'll buff up in a second. Come on, bird! Get, get over here, bird. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna space gun you. Come on! Dang it! Dang it! There we go. Slaying the bird. All right. Come on. Skeletron, is it almost time yet? Ah, oh, the traveling merchant has departed. That means it is almost night. About a couple more seconds or so. Let's see how fast we run. We are running 34 miles per hour. That is insanely fast for a human. So, yes. Can we curse him yet? No, no, no. Okay. It, we start running, and then we pick up speed slowly until we get to 34 miles per hour. But if we double tap with the Shield of Cthulhu, we instantly get up to 34 miles per hour. So that's good. Anyways, let's do this. Can we curse him yet? No. St still waiting a couple more seconds. Uh, this might be bad for us if I press down accidentally, but w we, sh we can probably avoid it. Close that. Alright, let's see here. <sighs> Almost nightfall. I'm getting ready for this. Man, it, once we do this, we can finally free up the dungeon, get the Maramusa, and uh, get the last thing that we need for the Knight's Edge, which is a fantastic soul, if I do say so myself. Come on. Come on, nightfall. Almost there. We are almost there. Yep, I think I think music's about to change over. Let's see here. Okay, our nurse's name is Katie. Katie is definitely going to be dead by the end of the night. So yeah, I I think the torches are lighting this up well. So hopefully that'll be good. Come on, come on. I just I I. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the night music. All right, let's do this. Uh, no, no, get back here. Get back here. Seriously? Okay, buff up. There we go. And curse him. Oh, man. Oh, man. We cursed him good. We really cursed him good. There we go. Use that extra mobility and duck the attack. Jump over that. We're going for the hands. Dodge that. Come on. Use the full extent of the arena tricks. Okay. Now let's, now let's start using the uh, mini shark to take out the hands. We are doing some serious... We are getting his number on those hands right there. I have the uh, meteor shot so that I get the balancing effect. Um, just keep aiming at the hands. Oh dang it. You got two good hits on us right there. I'll do a bit of damage on the skull right there, but not too much because... Oh, I went right in the path of the hands right there. I need to use my um, shield of Cthulhu to charge into the hands so as to avoid as much damage as possible. And, yeah, there we go. Oh, man, he has quite the reach. He has more reach than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or something. Basketball. Yeah. There we go. Sweep under him. Oh, just out of his reach. 
right there. Dodge that. Dang it. Dodge this. That's a cool line from The Matrix. Matrix is a cool movie. One of my thing on The Matrix. Focus tracks. Focus, get up to speed. I don't know if this arena was big enough, but we will make it work. We do not want to get caught in the skull. That is bad. Oh, we do not want to fly too high either because that is some unnecessary damage for us. Um, this is fully charged up. Use the demon side to get a whole bunch of bonus points on him. Dang it. Charge. Charge. Come, come on. Seriously. Are you kidding me? Come on. Gosh. Dang it. Come on, game. Work with me, game. I, I just want to I just want to beat Skeletron. Is that too much to ask? Come on. Six seconds till we can heal again. Stay in reach of the um yeah there. Stay in reach of the heart crystal. That's where I was looking for. And heal up again. Dodge there. Right under there. I'm so glad I have the shield Cthulhu equipped. That is coming up. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Taking some unnecessary damage right there. Jump over that. Man, I should take some Adderall or something. Be like some of those uh, professional mobile players. Aiming for the right hand because we've taken out most of the left hand. And I'm going to try and get him on the spin attack so that he can't fire skulls at me. 32 more seconds. Come on, keep just taking out that hand. And get the speed boost. Right around there. I'm glad I purchased more bullets because. Oh man. I would be running quite low right now. Don't hurt Katie. She is my... Why? Why did he just stand there? Come on. What the heck? I'm bleeding? How? How am I bleeding? What the heck? Okay, so one hand is down. Aiming for the second hand. But... Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. He's shooting out skulls now. This is not good. Just aim for the skull. We should have been aiming for the skull the entire time. But, oh well. I suppose pe people on YouTube know better than me. Heal up already. Come on. Okay, there we go. Why was I not firing at him? I don't know. Come on, quit firing skulls. Well, they aren't really doing too much. So I suppose that's nice. Uh, demon side. There we go. Get, get some good mana hits on him. There we go. That's, that's nice. Alright, around here. Come on, we are almost halfway through the night. Just keep firing on his skull. On his skull, he has 8,000 health, down to 7,500 or so. Oh man, we need to get this space gun going or something. Oh, dang it! Come on, get out of the spin attack! Oh man, spin attack means almost certain death. Come on, get out of there! Get to Katie! Get to Katie! Heal me! Heal me, nurse! You stupid nurse! You're useless, stupid nurse. Come on. <sighs> I totally healed up. Come on. Come on. I totally healed up there. That's... That's bull. Okay. Well. Where are you, old man? What enemy's nearby? Oh. It's a zombie. Great. Stupid nurse didn't heal me up when I told her to, and we lost the fight because of it. Ah, uh, well, dang it, I can't find the old man. We'll have to retry next episode with, like, a bigger arena and better potions and stuff. Um, but for now, screw it, we're gonna have a dungeon run. Yeah, screw the dungeon guardian, woo! He can't tell- oh, okay, oh, we're, we're, we're dead. Well then... So, anyways, guys, that's it for this episode of Terraria 1.3 with JXW. Hashtag blame the nurse for not healing me because she's dumb. And, yeah, next episode of Terraria will be Terraria Living Underground on Friday. I'm going to keep working on this to try and set up an even better arena so that next episode will be a surefire win for the Trex and crew. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time, and goodbye.